And this is one of the things that we've been learning about mushrooms over years and years of use is that they all help a range of different uh, systems in the body to promote health and wellness. How can they be? Let's hear about this. This is different. Oh folks gosh, from like, like that's war. Yeah. We only got Tell how us. many minutes? <laughs> <laughs> this is only part one, by the way. Jerry, you're going to be our mushroom guy here on Healthy Habit Podcast. I'm excited for this one. It's the first time we've had host defense mushrooms on the new platform here, which will be available on YouTube, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, etc. We've been talking with this guest for, I want to say, over, oh, over two years now at this point on Healthy Habit Radio back when we were on 1100 KFNX Morning Phoenix Radio. But uh, first time we get to speak with Jerry here on the podcast airwaves. Jerry Angelini is an integrative practitioner with training and experience in psychiatric and chronic illness rehabilitation and is the host defense education director. His undergraduate and graduate degrees from Boston University form the foundation of his conventional medical training, which is augmented by TCM herbalism, Ayurveda, and Western clinical herbalism. Since 2012, Jerry has led the national science education team for host defense mushrooms. He offers mycologically and herbally informed education across the United States, as well as internationally. Jerry, welcome to the Healthy Habit Podcast, my friend. Hey, it's nice to be here with you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for taking the time today. And you're over in California, is that right? Yeah, San Diego. San Not Diego. very sunny right now. We're getting some rain, which is well needed. It was a dry year, so right. we're happy for some water. And now when we say mycologically informed, tell us what is it mycologically and my mycology. Tell us about this. Yeah, mycology study. is the study of all things fungi or fungi or fungi. I mean, there's so many different ways you can say it, but it has all to do with the kingdom of fungi. So this, this would include things like yeasts and molds, but also like the mushrooms that you might consider for food. Uh, but also our uh, beneficial mushrooms that we use to support our health and wellness. Amazing. And so give a little preface on the company Host Defense Mushrooms. We can start there since this is the first time our, yeah. our new platform is being exposed to Host Defense Mushrooms. Tell us about it. Yeah, for sure. Host Defense is um, the longest running uh, organic a certified organic producer of um, mycelium and fermented rice products in the U.S. Um, Host Defense has been functioning for about 13 plus years now, I think it is. Um, and we're owned by Fungi Perfecti. Okay. And this is a company that uh, was created and uh, is run by... Um, uh, Paul Stamets. Uh, a lot of people know about him at this point in time. He's a really super amazing guy, uh, really phenomenally intelligent. Uh, he has been a mycologist for over 40 years. Uh, Fungi Perfecta has been uh, uh, existent for over 40, uh, basically for 40 years now. And it's just a, a, a great way to, and a place to come to get information on mushrooms, the cultivation practices of different mushrooms, uh, and how they can uh, be beneficial for us uh, in our health and wellness goals. And so how can they be? Let's hear about this. This is different. Oh folks gosh, from like, like that's more. Yeah. We only got how many minutes? <laughs> <laughs> this is only part one, by the way. We're going to be talking with Jerry throughout the year. So this is a good, good. warm up yeah. episode. Tell us about it. Yeah. I think a, a good place to start is the concept of how host defense is a little bit different than some of the other mushroom companies out there. Although we're like one of the oldest mushroom companies in the U.S. for supplements, for sure. Um, uh, maybe not for edibles. There's some right. in Pennsylvania that have been around for a long time. But in terms of the supp supplement world... Uh, host defense mushrooms, uh, we use uh, the mycelium grown on organically um, grown brown rice. So the mycelium ferments the brown rice and you get this uh, synergistic uh, 
product. So it has both the mushroom mycelium and that fermented brown rice. And we've done quite a bit of research uh, by third party labs, as well as some of our own internal company research. And that looks at uh, the uh, support for, for our immune system that both the mushroom mycelium and the fermented rice provide. So like they're both pretty amazing. And most people are already on board with fermented food. We know how important it is for our intestinal tract. And there's some great fibers as well that come from that. Uh, and we have found the same thing to be true about the host defense product. So we don't focus solely on fruit body products. Um, we do have some fruit bodies in some of our liquid extracts that are combined with the mycelium and the fermented rice. But really, we as a company focus on that power of mycelium and fermented substrate or the brown rice. And we've seen uh, the research has shown uh, repeatedly. So we replicate the research to make sure that it's accurate and that, you know, it wasn't just a fluke, right? And the, the replicated research reinforces the, that the product supports immune cell engagement, so it gets the immune system up and running. Um, we also, uh, the product supports uh, immune modulatory activity, and that's super yeah. important too, because the immune system has to stay in a certain you know, set of parameters for it to be really effective, right? We don't want it to be overactive. We don't want it to be underactive. And uh, we've also seen that host defense products support uh, just day-to-day -day tissue generative activity. So it helps our body like function better on a day-to-day -day mm. basis. So right. uh, really beautiful research and the effectiveness of the host defense products is uh, been shown repeatedly just over and over again. So it's something we can really, um, you know, we can just depend upon. And uh, our research is done in humans, like in human blood and in human clinical trials. So we're testing host defense products for efficacy in humans. And, and that's it, right. So there's the mycelium and the yes. fruit body. And one of the things that most people don't always remember about mushrooms is that the fruit body is what we would call the reproductive organ, right? right? It holds the spores, but the mycelium is this is the real body of the mushroom organism, and it can live for centuries. In fact, so it's amazing. Uh, it's enduring. It's got all of the metabolic activity, except for reproduction. Yeah. But like all of the digestive processes, all of the immune processes, all of the adaptation, that's all happening in the mycelium itself. So it's really like if you were to think about a plant, it would be like the root system and the, the stem and the leaves. Uh, the fruit body of the mushroom is like the flower or the seed or maybe yeah. like the fruit itself, like an apple or a strawberry or something like that. But Everything else about a plant would be um, comprised of uh, within the mycelium itself. So it's really that enduring body of the mushroom. That is and there's lots and lots of research right. on uh, mycelial efficacy and human health and wellness, too. And so, based on that, I was just doing a screen share there. You saw that? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, it was great. And people that are listening won't be able to see that, but we'll, we just described it. YouTube viewers will see that picture where the mycelia okay. makes up most of the actual mushroom, which is fascinating. When people hear mushroom, yeah. they think of that above ground portion with the little cap on it. So yeah. mycelium's all underground, right? Yeah, so it's in whatever it's growing in. So, okay. like, so you might think about like molds. Molds are a fungi, right? They're in the kingdom fungi. And you might have a piece of bread that like got left behind somewhere, right? And you don't really know that there's anything growing it until you see those little green things sticking up, right? And so, uh, although it's a very different uh, species, right? Uh, especially as compared to like reishi and cordyceps and maitake and lion's mane, very different. Um, you don't really see the mycelium because it's growing inside that bread. And so for these other mushrooms, you never really see the mycelium because it's growing in 
maybe it's wood or maybe it's soil. Uh, but if you were to break up that soil, you might see those tiny white threads and those are the mycelium itself. And uh, again, with all of these different fungi, or what we would call uh, multicellular fungi, right? Um, they have that thread-like mycelial body that's associated with them. Um, another set of species in the kingdom fungi is yeasts, like some of our best friends, like brewer's yeasts that create our bread, that make, you know, beer, like that's brewer's yeast too, right? Some people are familiar with Saccharomyces boulardii, which is a great uh, probiotic yeast, right? So just like in uh, our bacteria, we have friendly bacteria. We have probiotic microbes and pathogenic bacteria. We have friendly fungi and not so friendly fungi. So we, we stay away from the candida. We don't want that. That's a in fact, a sister species to the Saccharomyces. Um, but we do love our friendly fungi, like our Saccharomyces boulardii and all of these mushrooms that have been shown uh, through literally hundreds of research studies and uh, years and years of use in uh, clinical practice to support a range of health benefits. <clears throat> Jerry, you're going to be our mushroom guy here on Healthy Habit Podcast, okay? So just, yeah, that's going to be your title, okay? You're going to have the edge because <laughs> this is an important topic. You know, when people hear uh, immune support, especially during COVID and flu season, yeah. they think of vitamin C, vitamin yeah. D, zinc, elderberry, yeah. which are fantastic, oregano. Awesome. Great. All great things. But yeah. tell us more about how mushrooms fit into this picture. Is it just immune system uh, support that they provide or what are they, what are the big uh, things that they're going to be helpful for. Yeah, for sure. So uh, every mushroom that we carry uh, in the host defense line supports an engaged and balanced immune response in healthy individuals. So a really great way to get that immune system up and running. But then what we have found through years and years of use and research is that specific mushrooms will also support other areas of the body. And this is great. So you can get like a two for one or a three for one with one species. Like, so let's take one of our favorites, which is lion's mane, right? Everyone loves lion's mane nowadays. And lion's mane supports uh, a balanced and uh, effective and engaged immune response. It also supports our intestinal tract health and wellness. Uh, and uh, it does this uh, through, through the presence of a, a number of different compounds that help what are called um, uh, tight junctions in the intestinal tract lining. So it keeps everything nice and functional in those intestinal tract cells. But what re people really come uh, to lion's mane for is its support of memory, mood, cognitive functioning. So there you go. There's one mushroom. And I just talked about three ways that it supports your health and wellness. So it, it supports your immune functioning. It supports, in it supports intestinal health. And it supports uh, cognitive functioning, memory, and mood. So... Uh, and this is one of the things that we've been learning about mushrooms uh, over years and years of use is that they all help a range of different uh, systems in the body to promote health and wellness. Couldn't agree more, Jerry. And for all the, the research buffs out there that want to go even deeper after this episode, you can just go to Google and type in medicinal mushrooms or mushrooms health and add the word scholar at the end. And you can read for five, five, 10, 15 hours there on just mushrooms. Uh, the research yeah. definitely supports their use, right? It's it's yeah. overwhelming amount of studies at this point. So why would one take an extract, let's say, versus a capsule? Okay, yeah, good question. So you can find mushroom products in either a liquid extract form or in a capsule form. We also okay. have powders here at Host Defense. And it really is about two things. The first is, What's your palate like? You know, capsules, super simple. You don't taste anything. You just take a capsule, you're good to go, right? If you've, you know, you got some like particular likes and dislikes in terms of your palate, 
the mushroom extracts take like taste like mushrooms and alcohol because that's exactly what they are. They're mushrooms and alcohol, right? Yeah. So if you don't like the alcohol flavor, if you don't like the flavor of mushrooms, stick with those those capsules for sure. If you're open to that flavor, the liquids are really rapid in their absorption. Um, mm -hmm. Oftentimes, people report feeling the impact of, say, like cordyceps or reishi uh, within two to five minutes. So really fast uptake uh, of those mushrooms. Um, uh, the powders are great for people that like smoothies. You know, you can just throw your 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 serving uh, of the mushroom powders into your smoothies. You can put them on food in the morning. Like if you're an oatmeal person in the morning, you can just mix it right in with your oatmeal. Yeah. If you're having stews, you can throw it into your stew. Um, the powders are uh, they're mild in their flavor, so they do have a a mild hint of the mushroom that they are. So. Lion's mane will taste a little bit like lion's mane mushroom. The um, turkey tail powder will taste a little bit like turkey tail mushroom. But remember, there's also that fermented rice in there. So it does, um, uh, you know, it takes the edge off of that flavor for people that have that sensitive palate. Mm -hmm. But you still know that like, wow, that's really, I actually like the flavor of those powders. Okay. They're very complex. Um, they have some of the um, um, uh, mild bitterness that's associated with some of those mushrooms, but they also have a sweetness from that fermented rice too. So it's really, it's a really a complex palate or flavor uh, palette associated with the powder. So uh, really, if you want liquids, if you want that rapid uptake and uh, engaged and balanced immune support, and you're good with the flavor of the liquids, rock on. If you're, if you're hesitant about those flavors, stick yeah. with that capsule. If you're a smoothie person or like to add it into your food, use those powders just throw it in yeah do a powder scoop or two throw it in there yeah this question is going to come up it's come up many times even just yeah. the customers here shopping in the store somebody yeah. that has candida overgrowth or fungal overgrowth right. or those those toenails with the fungus growing right. on there and or the toe falling off because of history of fungal infections is this safe to use is this a different oh yeah. type of fungus it's okay to use yeah so like I said earlier, like candida is a pathogenic microorganism, right? Uh, but our probiotic mushrooms, uh, they're, well, they're prebiotic mostly, right? Okay. Uh, and what happens is like reishi and lion's mane, chaga, cordyceps, uh, maitake, they've all been shown to increase the proliferation of our probiotic microflora in our intestinal tract. So they're prebiotics. And that's really important because yeah. um, we want to increase our probiotic microflora. So we use these prebiotic fibers and we know that fermented rice and the mushroom mycelium, these are all prebiotics. So they're going to help our probiotic microflora like lactobacilli and bifidobacteria uh, really flourish in our intestinal tract. So absolutely, you can consider using host defense mushrooms to support your um, probiotic microflora uh, in your intestinal tract. Okay. So tell us then, what's your favorite, let's say now we're in the new year, you know, at the time of this yeah. recording, it's January the 5th, 2023. Yeah. To yeah. start the new year, Jerry, what's your favorite type of mushroom or, or blend of mushrooms from host defense? <laughs> Wow. Okay. So I'm a really big fan of lion's mane. I just, you know, especially with like all of my need to be on the, on target and on the ball. Uh, I love using lion's mane every day. I use the breathe formula every day and okay. breathe it contains cordyceps, reishi and, and uh, chaga. And it helps keep my breathing really nice and graceful. Ch uh, cordyceps is known to support uh, O2 intake, so you take in more oxygen in your lungs, and reishi and cordyceps and chaga all support a balanced immune response in your lungs and upper respiratory system. So for me, that breathe formula I take every single day to um, kind of help with my graceful breathing. It keeps my immune system uh, engaged and balanced. 
Uh, and then I think another great one for, for like just everyday use, um, is Stamets Seven. It's okay. just a brilliant seven mushroom formula that supports your immune system uh, and just about every system of your body. It has cordyceps and reishi. It's got lion's mane, chaga and maitake, agaricus blazii, and mesima. And so they really do. They support everything from uh, graceful lung functioning to digestive health to um, uh, energy and athletic performance and recovery from athletic activity. Uh, they support um, like cardiovascular health, wow. memory, mood, cognitive functioning. So really like it's really your whole body support. Yeah. And you can do like one to two grams a day if you want a little bit more because you're like, wow, I could really use a lot right. of help with all of that. Get the powder, use a measured teaspoon, that's three grams. Do it early in the morning when you first wake up and talk about getting a zing through your whole day. Yeah. Really beautiful way to energize your system and support your whole body health and wellness. Would you say someone that's like six foot nine or six eleven needs <laughs> maybe an extra scoop or two to feel the benefits, or what do you think? Yeah. So like whether it's like your height or just your body mass. So I run okay. around two hundred pounds. I use a little bit more than someone that yeah. weighs 120, you know? So, like, just take that into consideration. If you're really on the light side, if you're running about 100 pounds, like, a gram is a great place yeah. to start. But at 200 pounds, I use about three grams of mushrooms a day. But that's okay. with, like, all of them together. Right. And, and that's a great place for me personally that works really well. Amazing. Jerry, we're talking with Jerry Angelini here, folks, of Host Defense Mushrooms, and we carry the whole line here at Healthy Habit Health Foods and hostdefense.com. Is that a good starting point, Jerry? It's a great place. We've okay. got lots of great information for you. Check out all of our, um, like, not just the products for sure, right. but we got lots of great information about the different mushrooms. You can check out our product line, our product guide as well. And that gives you a really great understanding of who is host defense, how we cultivate and uh, create this really amazing product. Amazing. We have about a minute left here, Jerry. What's a good yeah. recap? We've hit on lion's mane. You mentioned it briefly for the neurological brain health benefits. Yeah. We touched on the breathe formula and stam at seven for maybe your favorite yeah. 2023 mushrooms to start the year. What's a good takeaway? And we'll have you on again, but as a good For sure. first takeaway. Yeah, don't be scared of our beneficial mushrooms. They're really beautiful uh, supports for our health and wellness. We all know how important it is to keep our immune systems engaged and balanced. But we can also do so much more for our bodies by focusing in on these really amazing uh, substances, these beneficial mushrooms. Well, I just want to thank you, Jerry, for taking the time to come on and, and your consistency. Even before we started this platform, Jerry's been coming on on Healthy Habit Radio through 1100 KFNX. We appreciate your dedication. It's always a pleasure to work with you guys. Uh, yeah, it's, you guys are a great store. You have great information. You provide a really beautiful service to our community. Thank you so much. And uh, we look forward to our next episode about once every month or so. We'll, we'll be talking yeah. to you. So. Again, this is our mushroom guy, everybody. Make sure you mark your calendars and look out for our next episode with Jerry Appreciate Angelini. It. Thank you, Jerry. Happy New Year.